it's the scale down uh, from the version 350, but we also added um, higher quality, means the accuracy of the work pieces that you can produce in the end, specifically the demand of a medical part or so, is even higher in this area. Yet another world premiere from AMB 2022 from Grob. And this is not just the only world premiere that you're exhibiting at this show this year, but we're going to focus on the G150. Exactly. So the G150 is a machine platform which we were rounding up our whole program to the smallest machine. We have missing out this spot specifically, for example, for the medical industry or the aerospace industry, where the parts getting smaller and smaller to really have the perfect fitting machine for the customers. So this is really fill, filling a gap in the marketplace. You saw a demand and a need and a necessity from your clients to develop this machine tool. Exactly, that was the case. As in the past, we were starting at a G350, so bigger size, 550, 750 and so on. So we're really missing the smaller area. Um, customer could also use the previous machines, but then they had a really huge working space, which doesn't make sense if you just have smaller parts. Absolutely, and I, I assume that the footprint is also a lot, a, a lot smaller. Yes, exactly. The footprint is smaller, and this also leaded us automatically to also adding automation solution to loading and unloading all those small parts on a pallet or a fixture on the machine. And this is also a new innovation from Grov, which we'll, we'll touch upon shortly. But before we move on to the automation solution, is the configuration of the G150 just the scaled down version of the 350? Um, it's the scaled down uh, from the version 350, but we also added um, higher quality, means the accuracy of the work pieces that you can produce in the end, specifically the demand of a medical part or so, is even higher in this area. Um, we're machining stainless steel, um, carbon fiber and even other, other materials, um, alloys and so on. So those have a really good need of, of high quality and that's what the G150 perfectly fits for. So accuracy, surface finish for any materials. Exactly. Now the, the automation is also a very impressive feature. Um, can you explain this solution and the flexibility and the modular aspect to this solution please? Sure. Um, here we are seeing the GRC R12, means group robot cell with a robot which can lift up to 12 kilograms. And this was a consequent because such kind of work, work machines are not cheap, we all know this. Um, but majorly we all have facing the issue that nobody has really the labors, uh, the educated skilled workers in front of the machine 24 seven. Means when the worker leaves in the evening fairly to go home, um, so we need to even keep the machine busy and that was our thinking to develop automation solution which can keep the machine busy overnight, over weekend shifts um, or even bank holidays. And, and you mentioned um, medical components, aerospace components, predominantly these components can be low volume but they repeat frequently. Is this automation the uh, solution, the perfect solution for this type of work? It absolutely is starting by small batch sizes up to bigger batch sizes and even we would recommend for example even if you machine only one workpiece for example you can do this while the machine has an operator on duty during the day but overnight you make little bigger bigger batch sizes into the machine the robot loads and unloads and the very flexibility what we have like it's a modular system from the g150 till the bigger machines up to a loading weight of 240 kilograms we can implement, for example, um, a brushing solution, QR coding, flip it from one side to the other side or upside down, and really making sure you're adding certain value where you usually also use labors on site on duty. So you're offering an end-to-end -end solution, a complete solution from uh, Grob. Now, you, you, you're mentioning this, this work and, and running 24-7, seven days a week, potentially. Can the tool carousel accommodate for this, this amount of work and all these different variants? Very good question. Um, yes, we can do. We have a an, 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 an tool magazine on top of the machine for loading and unloading the tools into the spindle itself. If this is not big enough, we can even attach an additional magazine. Um, the biggest uh, attaching magazines that we have, depending always on the, on the spindle size, from HSK 40 till 100, um, can be up to 400 tools if you want. <laughs> So you've thought about everything. Um, um, final question, really. You know, 
hardware is, is, is one aspect, um, but a lot of the efficiency gains and productivity gains are coming from software. What, what, what software uh, accompanies such a machine tool and how important is this to Grob? It's a very important because also um, we, we have to consider that totally different ages of people work in front of the machine. So even the one which maybe goes next year retired, but also the kid which was raised with a cell phone in the hand, and you have to combine those different thinkings on an, operat on an operational control for the machine um, to really make it easy. Means we have to use lots of uh, pictures, lots of intuitive um, designing, like we know there's all the apps of our iPhone or whatever kind of cell phone, which really steering the operator into the right direction and making sure we take away those features which we don't need in the specific surrounding area that nobody can make an arrow. Um, on the machine itself, we're using majorly Siemens or Heidenhain um, for the different applications. And specifically for the automation, we're using the backoff control. And that's really like only pictures where you drop on your um, workpiece, you drop it to the robot, the robot picks it up, and you can visually see this. So really easy, even a sales guy like me can operate such kind of an automation cell. <laughs> I'd love to have a go myself. Now, is this machine tool and automation solution going to open up new markets for Grob around the world? This is exactly our idea behind, as Grob was known from the past majorly on the automotive industry, and, and therefore really everybody knows Grob, but really this is the focus, what we're also having with our centers of excellence, to getting in the wide market, the different branches, like medical, aerospace, energy, um, all these smaller part segments where group was not yet so well known and this is exactly the, the situation we are facing. You have smaller companies, maybe 20, 30 operators on duty, uh, a bunch of couple of machines and, and they really looking for solutions, high quality, um, very flexibility and really making sure in the end they can make money with the solution.